Hey everyone, welcome to the first episode of From Guy Cooking. This channel is going to be about making simple dishes that are also delicious, and then things that really anyone can make without too much effort and too much time being put into it. This first episode we're going to be making mapucha, and all it requires are six ingredients. See here, uh, you can see the onion, the green pepper, and the red pepper, and I was a little hungry, so it's three quarters of a green pepper, but measurements don't have to be exact. And the other three ingredients, which we'll see at the end, are um, tomato sauce, salt, and pepper. And that's really it. We're just going to be sauteing this, all these vegetables up in a pan all at once, and therefore we're just going to chop them up nice and small so it could all break down pretty quick. Um, and my short rant on this is that uh, people spend a lot, a lot of money on dips. Uh, I live in the five towns, and, and most of the supermarkets here, the coast supermarkets at least, you can buy ready-made dips, and they'll charge you five, six dollars for half a pound, when you can make them pretty much at home yourself without too much effort, without it taking too much time. I mean, half the dips out there are just mayonnaise and spices. And once you know how to do it yourself, you could be saving yourself a lot of money and, uh, you know, getting even better stuff than you get at the supermarket. So that's what the first few weeks here we're going to be doing is making dips. Um, so yeah, just chop your vegetables nice and small. I like to save onions for last because they make me cry. And now we're going to take it over to the stove. Uh, you, you just want to start off on a medium flame, throw down some olive oil, throw down a little more olive oil, and yeah, you just want to throw your vegetables in and get this started. And wait, why is the camera? Wait, ho hold on a sec, wait. Sorry about that. First episode, gonna be some glitches. Important thing is that most of the vegetables made it into the pan and the camera was only in the pan for a second. So yeah, so what we're gonna do here is gonna let this just saute. It takes about an hour, you just wanna get some nice color on it. Really let it sit, give it a mix every 5-10 minutes or so, turn the fire down as it goes. You know, if you're fancy, wanna impress your friends, give it some beautiful shakes. Look at this one right here, nice. And just listen to the sound. And it's just worth it just for that sound. I'm showing you a lot of mixing, but the truth is, you know, I did this over an hour and I probably mixed it five or six times. So, you know, if you feel free to do other stuff, watch the kids, put up a soup, whatever, you know, it's it's just it's not it's not hands-on, it's not intensive. And you're just gonna give it one last shake over here. This is about an hour in. And we're gonna take it over to the uh, to the counter and add those last two ingredients and finish up. So here you see we're just adding uh, one cup of your standard good old plain tomato sauce that you get in a can. Uh, you can use Heinz, you can use Geffen, whatever's cheapest, whatever's on sale at Gourmet Glass this week, just go for it. Um, and then we're going to be adding salt and pepper to taste. Personally, I'm not so into salt. I don't like my food very salty, but I do like my food pretty peppery. And uh, that's it. We're just going to throw it into a container. It usually lasts for about two to three weeks in the fridge, just fine. You can serve it over a few weeks. And since this is my first episode and I don't got no production value, we're just going to zoom in, because that's what I've seen on YouTube. And yeah, have a bite. It's really just as good as the stuff you get in the store, if not better. And certainly one of the simpler recipes out there from Abuja.